Hey guys, so for my individual research project, I am doing the evolution of cameras. So I'm testing if the iPhone 10 camera is better than the iPhone 8. Let's get into How effective is the iPhone 10 camera? Photos will be taken with the main camera are truly excellent. Pictures are more saturated than previous iPhones, although not to Samsung's level. Um, with vivid colors and lovely dynamic range, this makes it excellent for landscaping shots, offering a fantastic feeling to the depth. How effective is the iPhone 8 camera? The iPhone 8 features a more advanced 12 megapixel with a wide 1.8 camera with a larger, faster sensor that lets in 83% more light. Uh, other features include new color filters, deeper pixels for better color saturation, with a wider range of color and lower noise in photos and videos. How many different camera settings do they have on an iPhone? From what I have found uh, and researched that there are three different cameras for the camera settings for the iPhone 10 and 8. The different camera settings are number one, video square system, number two, the filter, and number three, the live video. Are the photo qualities good for the iPhone? So I personally believe, uh, I reckon they are pretty good for the price that you pay for the iPhone. And I have taken some photos myself, I'll put on the screen now. And if you want to like take professional photos, I'd probably say just buy the Canon camera. They're pretty decent. And um, they're pretty good, they take photos in 4K, 60fps, that's the highest for the iPhone 10. And I think it for the uh, iPhone 8, it's HD 60 frames. So, yeah. Uh, so I decided to take a photo with the iPhone 10. And how easy are the functions to use? I personally found out that these functions are very easy to use. So, with the photo of the tree, I have just um did I edited the brightness and did the texture of the tree and um it is very effective more i reckon it's easier to use than obviously the canon camera which is expensive so and this is the result of the photo of the iphone 10 camera next will be the iphone 8. so as you can see with the close range shot on the iphone 10 you can see some different features in the camera. For example, for the iPhone 10 has a closer zoom in function, unlike the iPhone 8, which has a wider photo. And it also looks like there is more sunlight going into the iPhone 8 camera, which said when I was researching it. The iPhone 10 photo of the white flower is a more detailed shot uh, of the flower and it doesn't get a lot of background image and it's also uh, more closer. And for the iPhone 8 is a wider photo. It also gets more sunlight shining through it. And it also gets the buds and the stem, unlike the iPhone 10 with the closer zoom in function. Uh, uh, so the iPhone 10 and 8 long range comparison of the tree. So the iPhone 10 is a lot brighter, which means that the image looks more clearer and more sharper than the iPhone 8 giving the image from the iPhone 10 is more detailed. The iPhone 10 has also more glare from the sun than the iPhone 8. And also the iPhone 8 image appears to be more zoomed in than the iPhone 10 because you can barely see the top of the tree, but you can see the top of the tree of the iPhone 10. And the iPhone 8 is has more like shadows and is more darker than the iPhone 10 and is a little bit less detailed. In conclusion, if I had to decide whether to buy the iPhone 10 or 8, I would personally buy the iPhone 10 because the camera is more advanced and has 4K 60fps. It is a lot more of a detailed shot than the iPhone 8, even though the iPhone 8 brings in more sunlight than the iPhone 10. The iPhone 8 also has more of a shadow contrasting and less eye to detail. But obviously the iPhone 10 will cost more than the iPhone 8. The price of the iPhone 10 is $559. Uh, and the price of the iPhone 8 is 260 so there is about $360 gap.